Welcome to my video demonstration. I want to show you a circuit breaker which is placed in a carbon box with a goal to shield the electromagnetic field that arises from the coil and the breaker in the case of a short circuit. See here the geometry of the breaker. Current is coming from the bottom line going through the coil producing forces on the plunger and going out at the top. We have placed this breaker in a box which we made of 2D elements. You can see them now. And let's have a look at these properties of these box elements. You see these coordinate systems, they define the fiber directions. And let's take a look at this material. We have given a thickness of one millimeter and the name is carbon fiber. The electromagnetic properties of this carbon fiber are shown here. The magnetic properties are the permeability. We have given the same in the x, y and z direction. And the electric properties, mainly the electric conductivity, is of autotropic type. That means we have given a higher value in the x direction than in the y direction. And this comes from measurements from the material uh, made of matrix and fiber. So let's go to the SIM file and see what is there. In the SIM file we have created a time-stepping transient uh, solution with the magnetic solver and in this solution we have defined a current using this analytical formula. You see this is a formula that uses the time variable as input and it also uses some exponential functions that define the short circuit condition. Let's go to the results. We made some time steps for a very small time period to capture the effects of the short circuit condition. What we see now is the current distribution of the induced currents, the eddy currents on the box. We can also see them with vectors. So this gives us a good view or even cut it. We can see how the eddy currents behave on the box. Let's add, let's overlay the 3D geometry and we have a feeling for the looking, looking of the whole assembly. We see the currents as well in the 3D geometry of the circuit breaker and also those in the box. Finally, let's add the magnetic flux density in the air and let's look on this flux density in a section. And this last plot now gives you an idea how flux density is influenced by the circuit breaker while time is going up and while the current is speeding up. And it's easy to make measurements at different positions of the magnetic field properties. And it's also possible to look for forces, look for losses and transfer those losses to temperatures and the most important thing it is possible to decide if the material properties of the box material are correct. Thank you for your audience.